Good morning and welcome to Dark Shared Live. It's uh, Thursday the 7th of May, uh, we're on episode 12. Hope you're all well out there and staying safe. Um, last week on Sunday I had a terrible evening with some technical issues um, involving an overheated router. Um, I was trying to be too clever with the settings and the streaming software and it all went to pot and my tiredness didn't help either. So sorry about that and thank you for uh, persevering if you were, were there for it. Uh, one thing I was gutted about was I wasn't able to uh, show you a video that Hillary sent in in all its glory on Polaroid lifts. Um, last week, let's just bring this up, last week I tried to do some uh, Polaroid list myself, some really expired film, and as you can see, I had zero success and, and failed miserably with that. Um, so, uh, and Hillary sent through a great video of uh, doing some Polaroid lifts, and uh, without delaying it any longer, in case this whole thing collapses again, I'm just going to show you this. Now, ah, oh, Hillary's here. Good morning, Hillary. <laughs> I'm glad you could make it. I didn't think you were online on Thursday mornings. Brilliant. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Let's let's watch this great video from Hillary. See you in a minute. Okay, I'm going to try an emulsion lift. Um, freshly taken photograph, as you can see. It's not brilliant, but if with it being geometric, I thought it might at least show how well I can get the edges of the lift or how badly I can get the edges of the lift. Um, it's new Pol rebranded Polaroid 600 film. So I'm going to cut the white border off. I have done it before when I've peeled the white border off, but the edges underneath seem to be a lot stickier and the bits in the middle and I ended up tearing it so I'm for the moment I'm cutting it off now this is boiling hot water I'm gonna peel as you can see the front the clear bit comes off really, really well. And I'm now going to drop that in there and wait. And hopefully you can see that the edges start to peel off pretty much immediately. And the white gooey bit underneath goes all wrinkly. 
So I've got two very small paintbrushes, but I'm just going to try and tease it off. And there, that's come off. Oops. Try and get this out. I don't want this in the water now. Put that in the sink. Get all the bits of white gunk out. Right, now that water is too hot to do anything with, so I need to hold. And rather than take it out and put it in cold tray. I'm just going to make this one colder and that's the least, oops, the less I can handle this the better. Okay. Still a bit hot. Water's gone pink, I don't know if that's from the chemical at the back. I presume it is. A bit more water. Yep. That's nice and cold. And now, a piece of card that's pretty thick and not too flimsy. And then, try and place it reasonably where you want it. Doesn't have to be exact. And what I do is hold two corners if I can and then kind of move it so that it it comes out and brings the, the lift with it and that way you can usually get rid of most of the wrinkles, of course it's not doing it for me now. And I'll try and tease it out a bit. Of course you might want the wrinkles as a, as a feature. Nothing wrong with wrinkles. I don't know why that's not that's not behaving at all. Let's just see. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's try again. So bleh. there you go. So you can see how delicate it is. So if you gently hold it and try and twist it so that <laughs> yeah. You could spend a lot of time trying to get it exactly straight. But the more you faff with it, the more you're going to break it. So um, I think that's probably how I'm going to leave it for now. But there you go. Emulsion left my way. <laughs> may not be everybody's way, but it, it works with this type of film. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much for sending that through, Hilary. Um, really impressive stuff and uh, a massive success, I think. Um, I, I love the way that it floats around the water. I think the, uh, it sent me another link, somebody else doing it, and it's got with a jellyfish. It's like a friendly little jellyfish with a, your image floating around on it. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for sharing that. With us. If anybody else out there has anything little mini processes that they do that they want to film and send in, feel free. It's great. It's really cool. Um, and make sure you go and follow. Let's just, where's that gone? There we go. <laughs> make sure you go and follow Hillary online. <laughs> uh, H Clark. Um, and say thank you very much. 
and look at her, some of her photos because they're fantastic. Right then, um, cheers. I just quickly today I'm streaming on uh, Twitter, um, YouTube, and Twitch just to give it a go, see if this streaming thing actually holds up properly on multiple platforms. Now, I think I've resolved all my technical issues. I don't know. I'm mainly, YouTube's gonna be my main home just because I think it's a, a better place to chat and the, the chat there works really well live. Um, but I just thought I'd put this out on Twitter as well as a bit of a kind of like, hello to Twitter, come and follow me on YouTube and subscribe there because that's where most of my streams will be. Um, and just to see how it works uh, regards interaction and speed and all that sort of stuff. So that's a bit of technical that I'm, I'm trying out today. Um, next, so well, Thursday on Sunday, I think I'm going to be carrying on with this, uh, which is uh, a couple of weeks ago, I chose a negative out of this, this roll here, it's contact sheet, and created this first Test print on RC paper. Um, I'm currently at this phase here, which is on a fiber based print and we'll carry on with that on Sunday. I expect uh, it's gonna need probably some dodging and burning and some contrast work to get it exactly how I want it. Uh, so yeah, join me on Sunday to see how that goes. Uh, again, any questions? Drop them on Twitter regards that or probably like for that print I'm going to be covering things like split grading and, and dodging and burning so it's going to be me loads of stuff going on in it um, oh plenty press the wrong button there uh, plenty of things to to cover within that um, and hopefully I'll get to a point where I'll be happy with it and then I can show you the process of like how I dry fiber prints as well to try and keep them nice and flat um, and maybe I'll go on to think about mount, showing that mounting wise as well. There we go. Thank you very much for watching. I think that's all I've got to say today. Nice brief broadcast. Um, weather's looking good again. Could be an ideal time to do some more cyanotypes if you're into that sort of thing. Um, i trying to think if there's any other news I've seen. I can't remember at the moment. Personally, great news is I've been getting some sleep the last couple of nights. Uh, things are settling down a bit and I am feeling fresh and kind of got some energy at last, which is which is a relief and it's making me feel a bit more, more motivated. So, um, yeah, I shall see you on Sunday, 2 p.m. BST. Um, oh, there was something else. Mark, I got your pass, uh, your letter yesterday thank you so much i'll show that on sunday as well it's it's fantastic um so yeah sunday 2 p.m bst see you then take care everybody bye